Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And uh, this is a very torn review, because today we're taking a look at from the Transformers Kingdom line. This is Trax. Uh, I got Trax from Amazon.com, and it as of last time of checking, it's up for you can pay for it, and they'll ship it to you when they get it. Now, I said that I was very torn about this because I have to be very honest with you. There's a lot of things I like about this figure, but there's also quite a bit I don't. And unfortunately, there is one quality control issue that's just, I'm sure, inherent to my figure. But then there are a couple design flaws that are probably going to be universal and basically... Uh, those revolve around the legs and the front of the car. Now, to deal with the quality control issue. Here's the instructions. Here's the instructions opened up. We go to step 12. So, of course, turn the instructions over. Blank. I only got half of the instructions. Yeah, thankfully I was able to figure things out, and, you know, it's not that difficult, but still. The other issue um, we'll get into as we get into the transformation, but we're starting off with car mode. And I have to say I'm very lucky. The front end is nice, tight, came together. Don't know how that happened. Part of the issue is on these side panels, there are there is a little, like, nub now, either that nub is not big enough or the hole it's supposed to go into is not deep enough. But usually, unless you massage things properly, it doesn't come together. Um, the other issue, is, well, I mean, that's about it for the car issues of the car mode. I do like how you can store the weapon and the, uh, the back hood uh, guns for robot mode here. But it, this is a very nice Corvette. Um, and I mean, Trax was one of my favorite G1 characters, one of my favorite Transformers. Um, I mean, it's in blue, and I like blue. I mean, this is a great-looking figure. It just could have been so much better, and, but I'm getting a little ahead. I think uh, to start, you know, it rolls. Let's get into the transformation. Uh, first, we'll get into the flight mode. Coming behind the car. Flip up these tail fins from behind. And then uh, come underneath here. What I recommend first is folding out the wings from underneath. Then uh, grab the arm. And you're going to rotate and shimmy a little. You probably will pop the front end, which I just did. And that will free the arm. Then rotate it. Bring it down. And then rotate it out. And then bring the arm back down. The wing will probably want to follow. There is no locking point for the wing. So, you know, it, it is uh, what it is in that regard. Let's bring the camera back a little uh, in terms of uh, positioning it. But as you can see right there, just from moving the arm, that jostled the pegs and that front end has split a little. Come in, do the same thing on the other arm. You know, get a little, if you can, get a little thumbnail in there. Rotate, swivel. Because really what it is, is this arm clips in on a little nub there that goes into this divot section with the uh, wrist. But, see if I can, uh, going to be good to me. Oh, no. You'll get one, oh, the, had one side, lost the other. But. There's the flight mode. Very close to the original uh, G1 design. I kind of dig it. I mean, now, I don't consider Trax a triple changer. I mean, this is a mode, not an ultimate form. It's a car with wings. But yeah, you can really see this whole front section here. Oh, got it to stay together. So I got lucky. Um, you know, might as well just keep going forward into uh, transformation into the robot mode come in the back here flip down those fins just like that remove this whole back section 
put it off to the side. Um, you can rotate the arms now at the at the bicep so the little details can face up. Give yourself some space, rotate that out to the side. And now what you want to do is you do want those side panels to pop open. And then you want to un detach them from uh, what would be the, dri the, the doors, the passenger side and the driver's side doors. That's where you want to lift. And did I mention this is all clear plastic? So, of course, be careful. And now what I would recommend is separating the legs at the same time trying to pick up that roof hood section. It'll just break free. Well, not, I wouldn't say break free, but just like that. And then what you'll do is bring that whole section back and rotate it around so it's straight back like that. You reveal Trax's head and the faux chest. Now, let's come underneath. You want to bring the feet up so they're flat like that. Come underneath here, the legs separated. Open up these gr uh, gray panels. They open up towards each other. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but... And then what you'll do now is there's a white hinge there. You want to bring those legs forward on that hinge and then rotate the panel down. Uh, uh, did I? Uh, and, and, tr and try not to uh, bring it down like that. And then the leg was on another hinge on the knee collapse like that straighten it out and close it up and there's a little tab there on the inside of the knee that that door will peg into do the same thing on this side bring it down and down uh, and of course if, if it if what happened what's happening to me happens to you that the feet flip just rotate them around like that Bring that section back and then uh, peg it into the uh, knee like that. Now, the side panels, there are little tabs there, little, again, bumps. I don't know if they're not long enough or the hole's not deep enough that, frankly, the legs, those side panels should hook into. Another issue is these hips completely loose. You see right there under the cod piece the faux ratchets. So we'll straighten the, we'll straighten this out like in a in a bit when we get towards the end because through the course of transforming this figure you're going to knock them around. So go ahead, rotate the torso around. Come in underneath, push the chest forward. And what you're going to do now is accordion this joint down. There's a tab there that's going to go into the back section. And then there's a internal tab that the chest will peg into. Like so. And you can kind of see it right there. It's all sandwiched up nice and good and tight. I guess now we can flip out the hands if you so desire. We can wait do that at the end. And then coming up to this back section, grab this section. Uh, again, clear plastic, be careful. Sandwich it up. It'll fold down on that hinge. There's a tab there. They'll go into that section right up there. Play with the window. And you got it in. Oop. And you saw right there just how loose uh, the figure can be. Pull back a little more here. Give it some space uh, to finish things off. You can tab this top section in. And I got to tell you, the, the torso comes together very tightly. I mean, yes, there is some gappage. Yes, this top part looks a heck of a lot uh, gappier than it does on the packaging and on the instructions. But it's not bad. The problem is the legs and the hips, that, that whole waist section. And, you know, right now you can... If you just look at the figure, it looks fine. But 
you know, this is the problem we're having right now. I mean, it's very, I mean, it's very floppy to transform. These panels don't hold together. The waist is a little loose. I mean, there is some nice detailing there actually on the head, um, little grooves and stuff built in, but yeah, I mean, again, Trax was my favorite character. I'm really disappointed. This was not the figure I thought I was going to get. And let me just mention something real quick. This is a $22 figure. It came with a quality control issue. And, uh, you know, so, some uh, design issues. This is another $22 figure when released. But it's the 8 million youth, use of this mold. And it's still more solid than this guy. This is a $14 figure. Can, yes, it can't do space yoga, but it's solid as a rock. It's solid in vehicle mode. It's solid in robot mode. So, there's that. Um, articulation, universal joints at the arms. The wings are attached to the arm. You know, if you want to angle them up slightly to do like that. Um, head is on a ball joint, but because of the sculpt of the head, there is some limitations. You have a bend here at the elbow. Uh, we took already took a look at the hips and the knees. And there's ball joints. The feet are just on ball joints. So there is articulation, but I'll be very honest with you. I would not put this figure on a shelf. I'd be a little concerned about... Uh, just how uh, you know stable it would be and I'm being honest so you know I just adjusted my lights a little I I'm using a new light box so yeah ah it, you know let, let's let's just pause and I'll come back with my final thoughts. I don't think I can really recommend Trax. Um, there's just too much wrong with the figure that I think... I mean, the transformation's actually kind of cool. Like, what they were trying to do with the legs, that was kind of cool. I mean, it broke up the monotony of the... Um, fold the legs over, that's the front of the car. I mean, it was an, you know, the, the, the way they... That double hinge work with the collapsing... And I think if the joints were a little bit tighter and things pegged in a little more solidly, it would have worked a lot better. Now, I got to be honest, when I first got the figure today, I was angry. I was really livid about how things worked. Um, but I took a breath, th sat with it a little bit, and I'm just disappointed because this could have been a lot better. This could have been, you know, the... Uh, figure, you know, the, the, one of one of the figures of Kingdom that says, "Wow, this is great." I mean, we have that generations version of tracks that was okay, and then before that, you have an alternator which was to a lot of people very fiddly, very complicated. I mean, how hard is it to get a decent tracks? And you know, who knows when if we'll see this figure done again, this character done again in this style. I mean, the way they do the movies, they'll just throw a name to anybody. But yeah, I can't recommend it. You know, as I said, $14, get yourself a Tobot. You'll have a better time. Now, apparently this figure is showing up at retail locations. Uh, it's also, as I said, I got it off of Amazon. And I think other online retailers have it in stock. So if you are interested and... Please, if there's a way you can correct the issues that I've pointed out, please share in the comments, and I would really like to know. And I'd also like to know how much effort it would be, and how much out-of-pocket costs, like what tools, what um, extra uh, instruments you would need, you know, resin glue to fix that, because I think that's important for people to know. But as this figure is, 
I can't recommend it. If you're looking for Road Rage or Loud Pedal, I would say skip them because they're going to use this same exact model and same exact tooling, different heads. I don't know if, you know, they'll fix the tolerances and what have you. But that's just me, you know. So if you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, as I've said in the past, um, why I will always appreciate the views, the likes, comments, and subscriptions. Help communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel is one that should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, please consider signing up for my Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. Hyperlink in the description below, card here in the corner. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you, help me to help you bring figures like tracks to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. As I mentioned, I am, I am experimenting with a new light rig, uh, a new light box. Um, kind of went more into the Foldio system. So, yeah. Uh, the first one was too small. I think this one might be too big. Ah, porridge. Um, but anyway, that wouldn't be possible without the support of viewers like you. And as I always say, while I, um, oh, if you can't swing the dollar a month or $12 a year, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. With that being said, this is your old pal Chuck for Tracks. We will see you next time.